welcome to How to Build an All Weather Portfolio, Part 3, iShares 7 to 10 year bonds. Ticker symbol I E F. This right here is part of the bigger series, Ray Dalio's All Weather Portfolio. We're still on the article from Tony Trans, not to confuse anybody. And we are going to this section of the article right here where it says, how do I build my all weather portfolio? Let's do a little overview before we start. 30% of the portfolio is the Vanguard ETF, VTI. 40% of the portfolio is going to be an ETF called TLT, which is 20-year treasury bonds. 15% of it's going to be IEF, which is 7 to 10 year treasury bonds. 7.5% of it is going to be Spiders Gold shares, ticker symbol GLD. 7.5% of it is going to be uh, Commodity Index Tracker DBC. So let's get into this. Okay, we're on Yahoo Finance. Link in the description to every page that I'm using will be below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, today, these shares are trading at $117.26. We're talking about the IEF, 7 to 10-year treasury bonds. This is them. I'm filming this actually while the market's closed. But this is at the close of Friday, so you can see. Looks like as the market was getting crushed, this thing was doing pretty well. But they're bonds, they're safe havens, right? So it looks like the yield right now is 2%. Net assets are 18.87 billion and the average volume is 4.036453 oh that's 4 million something it's average volume uh yesterday's volume was 13 million plus 52 week range is going to be 103 to 117 Okay, let's go to what is actually in here. Now, to figure out what is actually in here, we had to go to the holdings. Um, and last time when we did this, we went to the 20-year treasury bonds. We went over what are triple A rated bonds. But today, I would like to go over what are junk bonds. Okay, so junk bonds are the sexist investment you should avoid in your portfolio. That's what they are. Many people love those AAA bonds, but when it comes to these junk bonds, this is what you should know. You should know that you should not invest in these bonds, okay? That's exactly what you should know. Uh, these bonds right here are tempting. I'm going to leave this article in a link in the description below. But I was reading a little bit of this today. And the main thing that they want us to know is that these bonds are basically double B or lower bonds for the most part. Because AAA is going to be the best type of bonds. But these lower ranked bonds are just pretty much they're just trash. Okay, this is like corporate bonds that are falling out of the sky that uh, have very high yields and people love to put them in their portfolio. But these things will eventually probably default for the most part. And then your money's kind of stuck. Uh, you may earn 10, 15 percent on your money for a couple of years or a couple of months, but then you'll never eventually get the principal back. And that's the problem with these junk bonds they're the sexiest things around but they do not belong in your portfolio okay back to what IEF treasury bonds are seven to ten year treasury bonds okay this portfolio right here this ETF 
right here has 99.57% bonds, because it's a bond ETF. Oh, look at that. The bond rating inside of this IEF ETF is all AAA rated. So that's another good thing. These guys have the best bonds inside of their portfolio. So what are we going to get? The top seven holdings is going to be 61.61 .61 of total assets. And this is what they are. You're going to get the U.S. Treasury note, 3.13%. And that is 13.91% of the total assets inside of this portfolio. You're going to get other treasury notes. You guys can check this out when you go on the website. But just know that they're going to give you treasury notes uh, that has some pretty good yield on here. 3.13, uh, 2.68, 2 2.88, 2.75, 2.38, 2.25, and 1.63. Um, we just completed one of the worst weeks uh, in the stock market since like the Great Recession uh, and everybody's like uh, scared. So this this portfolio right here, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were running to this portfolio like, oh my God. And if you've been building your all in a portfolio like this series is about, you probably were up or not as hurt as everybody else because people in the traditional markets, they're looking really scared right now. Like they don't know what's going to happen because the um, coronavirus and how that's going to affect the markets and the markets are always trying to predict. That's exactly why the markets are going down. It may not be something fundamental in a market at this moment, but they're suspecting that the fundamentals will be affected in the future. And that's why the market's falling right now. Um, that's why we're building the all weather portfolio so we can have resilience against times like this. Okay, year to date, this thing is up. We're talking about January till today. We're talking about 5.02%. This is up. Uh, yield, 2.01%. Uh, that is awesome. This video will be dropping on the 1st of March, so I know I'm filming this on the 29th, but... I want to make sure that I have a video uh, for tomorrow, which is going to be the all weather portfolio. Guys, let me know what you think about part three, um, the iShares, seven to 10 year bonds, IEF. Let me know what you think about that. Are you building your all weather portfolio? Let me know. Uh, How is it coming along? Which section of the all weather portfolio do you have already? Which section do you need? Uh, to build this thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will be posting more videos on this topic at a later date. And I guess I'll be talking to you all later.